choose. Only one can win. He's coming. Come on, girls. Coming. Hi, bookworms. It's Emily, and I just finished reading a book called The Selection. So what The Selection is about is about this society where there is a caste system. So the castes are from the ones, the tops, the royals, the perfect royals, and then all the way down to eight, which are very poor, barely anything. And each caste has certain jobs. So, for example, the second caste is the the um, industry workers. Then there's the five caste is the musicians and stuff. So this takes place, and so our main character, Miss America Singer, is born into a five caste. And so we go through a journey with her. And so in the society, there is something called the selection, where 35 girls compete to win the heart of Prince Max. Ooh. And so many of you may think that this will be a very cheesy and useless princess book. It's actually not. It's basically the Hunger Games in dresses and high heels. It is amazing and it's one of my favorite books of all time it is a dystopian fantasy fiction book and i would recommend it to any of you this book was so good i went in with low expectations i was like eh princesses i'll read it just because i have nothing else to read but it was truly amazing i loved it the selection by kiara cast is Definitely one of the top books in my liking, and I recommend it to all of you out there. Hopefully, you'll take my advice. So, this will be the end of the non spoiler review. I highly recommend it. If you haven't read the book already, I highly recommend you go get that book and read it, then come back here so we can share about it. Cause I don't want to be spoiling anybody, but if you don't think you're going to want to read it, or you've already read it, stay right here. So, goodbye, people! Okay, now let's talk the selection. Ah, the beginning. Okay. <sighs> so it feels. So the very first thing that happens in the book is you want to tear your hair out because so we America and Aspen and they're just they were good I shipped them in the beginning but then it's like go away I hate Aspen okay Aspen is a jerk because he's basically like I love you America but I don't like the fact that you're letting me live by giving me food but I love you, but I want to leave you, and I'm breaking up with you. Sayonara. Bye. What? We're just sitting here like, um, what? Are you think that's okay? You'd think in his head he's all like, To like punch him or something. Thumbs this video up if you hate Aspen. And then later on, with during the selection, where it's like America's sneaking behind Maxon's back, and because she thinks she still loves Aspen, it's like um he had his chance. He can chew off. I honestly hate Aspen. I swear to God, if she ends up with Aspen, I am going to shoot him and then myself. Double homicide. Yeah. But oh, when her and 
America and Rex and me, it's just like, oh, it's so sweet and cute. Like, they're literally fighting from the first one. It's like they're already a married couple, just fighting it out. And it was the cutest thing ever. Like, oh. oh. And then they come up with the, the ear tug, and it's just like, and then he's like, she's like, um, yeah, go away. I don't want to be here. I want to be here. I was forced to do this. I don't want to be here. And he's just like, it's okay. It's okay. You don't have to be, but let's just be friends. And it's like, yes. and he's trying so hard to get out of that friend. And it's like, go Maxon, go Maxon. We're all just like, Maxon, Maxon, Max. Um, no offense, you ask the lovers, but, uh. Max is definitely the way to go. But then we meet the girls. <laughs> when I started this book, I did not expect the ferocity that these girls would have against each other. Like Celeste during the interview. Hey America, can you come to the bathroom with me? Oh, uh sure, yeah. Okay, Celeste. Give me the dress. Now, take it off. Um, excuse me? I am not taking off my effing dress. Um, no. Who does that? Fight. It's like, whew. I think the interviews were interesting. How we got to see inside each girl's mind. And then, okay. The selection, it's like... You're dating someone, but they're constantly cheating on you, and you know about it, but you don't care. And it's like, oh, I if I was in this election, I would knock these fucking girls and be like, fuck you. <laughs> screw you. I'd be like, screw you. <laughs> like, and then Marley, oh, Marley was so sweet. And then the whipping with Marley, it was like, oh. And then her and Carter. Oh my god. And then America, America like, goes to reach for Marley, and I'm, like, bawling here, and I'm like, America, go America. But then in the back of my mind, I'm like, don't do it, you're gonna get so much trouble and she does it and I'm like oh my god and the worst thing is Marley was just whipped and caned for talking with a guard well that's exactly what America's doing and her and Aspen both know it and oh if Maxim finds out oh my god Ugh. About Marley, oh, but then when Maxon he let her know that Marley was killed and that she's still at the castle, and it's just like, oh, I love you so much, Maxon. And so, America is turning into a princess, whether she likes it or not, and when her sister, oh, so cute, oh. But then, okay, one thing that interested me was the rebels. Because throughout the book, it seems like a total utopia. Like, it is a utopia. Like, there's nothing wrong. And even when the rebels do come in, we still find it as... And everything's perfectly fine. The rebels are no threat. Yeah, it's a utopia. Everything's perfect here. But, like... I want to say there's really no problems with the society. We're just following America's problems. And I think the rebels are really interesting because I want to know why they're rebelling, what exactly they want. And I want, and when I, they were talking about the rebels and how they're no thing, it made me think, oh, they're going to turn into something. And I was like, maybe there's people in the castle and maybe there's things going on. <sighs> what do you guys think? Comment down below what you think. Um, the rebels, they, they just, they scared me at first, they scared me poopless, but, um, I, 
I, I was totally intrigued by them. I was... I think Kiara Cass is setting herself up. That's exactly what she's trying to do. She's trying to make something so that throughout the series, the Rebels become more and more vicious and crucial to the story plot. And I really love that. Another thing I loved about Kiara Cass's selection was the way she wrote it. Obviously in first person, but she used descriptive words and she actually made it sound like it was just a regular teenager. Just a regular teen like any of us actually going through problems of having to pick a guy. Obviously love triangles, everybody's done with love triangles, but I love love triangles. Okay, I love Twilight, I love Divergent, I it's not a love triangle, but I love the Hunger Games, I love everything and I think like this started off as a love triangle as a love story, but I think Kiara Cat's gonna evolve it into something more. And I hope she does. But uh, the way she wrote it is it sounds like it's actually me talking because it actually sounds like things that I would say. I'm a sarcastic bum and it actually sounded like an actual teenager like it was really going on like this is possible and the thing about the caste system is the caste system does sound like it would become possible because of all the superficial things going on in society today and everything else happening and everybody's turning into these mega plastics and where you stand in society is is how you're judged if you're a lawyer you're at the top of this hill but anybody below teacher you're nothing nobody cares you're scum you're poor you're dirty you're nothing to society honestly they say you need they need you but they don't and that's exactly what our society has come to today it's become something where if you're not famous you're nothing you're a nobody you don't know you have to become famous you have to be known to the world to be happy and I think that's exactly what Kiara Cass is trying to say that we've become so superficial that we're not even realizing what we're doing and I think that's a brilliant idea and concept because it brings to light the problems in our society today and I know most dystopians are doing that but I feel like this message was clear. It wasn't something as obscure as things like in the Hunger Games and Divergent, where you're like, how does it connect to real society today with the message? This one is clear cut, and I love that about Kiara Cass's writing. And I am so excited to read The Elites, and I can't wait! I'm so excited! But. Leave me down. So. The Selection by Kiara Cass. All of you out there right now, go pick up The Selection and read that piece of paper. Pieces of paper. Yeah, pieces of paper. And so I recommend this book to everybody out there. Adults, children, teens, anybody out there who is interested in just reading. Because it's a spectacular read. It honestly is you feel connected and so I would rate this book mm, let's say 8 out of 10 well see ya goodbye from Emily and America <laughs> oh my god her name is America Singer and <laughs> princesses are always singing like you know like ah, 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 to animals Oh my god, <laughs> I just realized that. Oh! And her name is America Singer. Ha <laughs> ha! She's a musician and a princess who sings all the time, but her last name's. I get it. I just got that. I'm a little out of the loop, people. Don't make fun of me. Don't. <laughs> Don't you be laughing. No. No. Who will Max and Chew? I don't know. But how about you click that subscribe button down there and we can find out together. Have a great day, everybody. Goodbye, bookworms.